Hey Spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here and today I'm going to be giving you my thoughts on Humankind. Uh, I recently got a chance to actually play the game for a few hours and uh, this is going to be my, my first impressions of the game. In the background is going to be some B-roll gameplay. I didn't record this footage, I played differently. I, I'm going to kind of describe how my experience with the game was. Uh, you basically, you start off and you begin as a sort of migratory tribe. You are just like a little group of units and you have the ability to, you know, find little goody huts on the map that provide you with some sort of bonus. Perhaps it'll give you science or food or whatever. And you can grow your tribe by hunting down deer and stuff like that. And that will give you more units to fight with and explore with. And eventually when you get enough sort of points, I'm not sure exactly what they were called. I don't I don't think it's fame in the first, very first nomadic era. But when, when you get garner enough science, you can kind of settle your city down and you actually become a civilization. And then you get to choose between a variety of different civs. Now in the uh, little alpha preview press version, we only had four different civs to choose from, but each one actually had a very different play style. There was one who was very growth focused. I felt like they were super powerful and very quickly we we all kind of agreed, all the people who were playing together, yeah, they're, they're pretty damn good because you can just sort of of turn food into population very quickly. And so it was a very interesting experience. Now there wasn't a fully fleshed out nomadic tribe it, it, it sort of phase of the game the developers did say that that was going to be fleshed out that they were rebalancing it and they were trying to figure out you know how to make it more fun and interesting and so we just kind of got a little bit of a, a, a glimpse of it to see what the potential could be and then once you once you sort of garner enough points you actually get to settle a city which is really interesting because where you settle your city center is it, it's going to collect all of the resources adjacent to it so if there's like a high food area you're going to grow really quickly if there's a lot of production you'll get a lot of production really quickly be able to build things really quickly it, it, is very interesting and then once you have your city settled it's sort of the beginning of your empire you you you'll have done a little bit of exploration and that's what kind of sets it apart a little bit from other 4x games is that by the time you actually put your city on the map you've already explored the map a little bit so you kind of have an idea oh yeah i already want to start sort of start working my way towards you know building another city over there or perhaps expanding your cities into that region because rather than sorry let me let me explain regions first so basically the map is divided up into these like little territories Territories. Uh, those of you who played Endless Legends will be super familiar with this. Basically, there's little sort of provinces on the map that are divided up and you can build a city in each province or uh, and so on and so forth. But in this game, you can you can actually choose to either build a city in that province or like sort of attach it to your city. And certain buildings scale based on the number of regions or provinces that you have attached to your city. And this is a really interesting take on the ability for you to build your civilization sort of wide, which is a lot of cities, or tall, which is a few cities that are really big and really powerful. And then sort of the game progresses naturally you sort of get these missions I don't want to call them missions I think missions may be wrong it's sort of like goals you get these goals and depending on how quickly you do these goals you'll get a certain amount of fame and once you do a certain number of these goals you can advance to the next era now I didn't get to see what the next era was but that doesn't really matter to me because the first era was chock full of interesting choices for me to explore so I was perfectly happy to just play in the ancient era there's a lot going on on the map there's sort of barbarian encampments that spawn wildlife there's other players uh, now there wasn't much diplomacy in the sort of alpha preview version that we got to really interact with but that didn't really matter to me uh, again i was just having a lot of fun sort of exploring the combat mechanics and the combat mechanics are i'm going to be totally honest it was the biggest fear i had when i heard that you know amplitude were making another 4x game i'm gonna come out and say that uh, while i really like endless space endless legends and in fact i think dungeons of the endless is my favorite amplitude game the combat systems in endless space and endless legend i kind of hated them i really don't like the combat systems that they put into their games and so this was gonna be the thing that ma made or bro broke the game for me was was whether or not the combat was fun and 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 really kind of gripped me and i gotta say all my fears kind of washed away after the first couple times i interacted with it now it's going to be very familiar to end this legend but it's sort of more traditional instead of you know all your instead of you like just giving orders and all your units acting them out you can kind of command them on a tactical battle and the really interesting thing is if a battle doesn't end in a single turn the battle will continue and you'll be able to bring in more reinforcing troops which i found super interesting the developers were talking about how in the late game you could just have tons of armies piling into an area and the battlefield gets bigger and there's more units and eventually you know players are stuck in these like uh, world war one type scenarios where they're just endless churning troops into a single battle 
because it's a make or break battle because if they lose this battle they'll lose a significant city or whatever and it was really really fun and the unit system was very interesting i found there was a lot of choices in like how terrain interacts like if you have the high ground you do more damage if your unit counters the other unit you have more damage if your unit has just been around longer and garnered more experience it'll just be stronger and each civilization sort of culture gets a unique u- unit per era so i have to say like the my biggest fear again was the combat system is it going to be good and from what i saw in this alpha preview version the combat was okay and here's the thing i know for a fact that amplitude are able to deliver a really interesting economic gameplay system right because they've done that before they've done it in endless legend they've done it in endless space my fear was the combat system and that fear has been alleviated so the the thing is the game plays a little bit like Endless Legend combined with Civilization uh, in, in, in the sense that a lot of the things are going to be very familiar to Endless Legends, but some of the things are going to be familiar to a game like Civ 6 because you can place districts down like you could in Endless Legend, but they kind of play a little bit more like Civ 6 districts. You know, you place a, you know, a food district next to a food district. They both get adjacency and then you work all the food tiles around that. But any production on those tiles isn't worked unless you build a craftsman district beside that. And then all those forests or productive tiles will be worked and you can cut forests and you can change the terrain. There is a little bit of religion in the game and stuff like that as well. But really, I have to say the sort of basic gameplay loop that I got to see with the whole construction of cities and placing districts down and capturing resources and then the whole resource system from Endless Legends I really enjoyed it it was a lot of fun and the other really cool thing is um, each culture for each era gets a sort of emblematic district it's like a unique district that they can build every era so the really really cool thing about that is you can kind of tailor your gameplay style as you progress through the era based on what you need or just based on how you like playing which is really really cool my one concern is that there's a lot of saves so balance is going to be hard and the number of choices that players are going to have is going to be hard to balance as well like in terms of like the player balancing those choices like oh god i don't i have so many choices i don't know which ones to take i think the game overall is very interesting I'm very excited about it I think this has like upped my confidence in the game as well I don't want to say will this game sort of dethrone Civ 6 or dethrone Civilization as a franchise but I definitely think it is a shot across the bow to the Civ franchise saying look there is some serious competition on the market now if you're a fan of Civ you're really going to really going to like bite into this game especially if you're a fan of save and endless legends you are going to be super happy with this game now there's probably i I don't want to get too specific on things because the game is very early and things are going to change over time but i would say generally the game feels like a complete experience already which is really surprising considering things like diplomacy were missing religion was essentially just a couple of events there's a whole like law and civic system that like dictates you the, the values of your empire you know you can be more legalist or independent Independent, you can be more community or individual you can be more sort of militarist or peaceful or you can be more rational or spiritual and all of the decisions and little laws you'll pick will actually feed into those decisions so you might find yourself in a position where it's like well i really want this law that like makes my units cheaper to produce but that will actually have a consequence in that my society will be less free so that'll have negative consequences in other areas of my empire so you might end up taking a decision even though you really want one you take a different decision purely based on your sort of situation and how you want your civilization's values to shape out yeah i think i think there's a lot going on here that i'm really really excited about i I see now the thing is i didn't get a huge amount of time to play the game so i'm a little bit dubious as to saying like very specific things about like i recommend this game or i want you to play this game or i think you should buy this game or i think you should pre-order this game but i definitely think you should keep your eye on this game because i'm like being totally honest the vast majority of games that get released into the 4x genre are kind of trash and so when we find a studio that are able to deliver even at this early of an alpha something that approaches a really interesting and engaging game with like the production quality of a triple a studio in the 4x space i'm going to embrace them because that is so rare because (laughs) like every i feel like every game i get in the 4x genre feels like it was made in the mid 90s and this game really stands out it's a really modern take on the genre and i also want to talk about the ui the ui is impeccable they did an amazing job on the ui for the alpha and that was another one of my concerns for the amplitude studio guys is that you know i didn't really like their uis in endless legends or endless space 
And so far, my first impression of the UI is I was able to find all of the information. I was able to find all of the buttons, everything highlighted when I hovered over it. Everything told me all the information I needed. Um, there was a couple of little things that were like, oh, I'm not entirely sure what this word means in the context of this game. But like when you play with it a little bit, you start to get a feel for things and that kind of all washed away. So the game felt like that was this was a huge thing for me. The game felt really intuitive. Like I felt like I was able to learn the game without having to like go to a wiki page and like look up game mechanics. I was just there playing. I could hover over things. I could click on things, see the consequence of my actions, learn from that and proceed onwards, which while is true of the Civilization franchise as well, by and large, there are some little hidden mechanics in those games that can kind of make it difficult. So I really appreciated that almost everything was sort of upfront in your face and ready to access. But yeah, I would say overwhelmingly positive is my initial reaction to this game. That's gonna be it from me though. I love y'all very much. Keep an eye out for more humankind content and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.